if you had the chance to earn 50% commission instead of 3% commission, would you take it? Of course you would. But so many affiliates don't look far past Amazon Associates when it comes to promoting their affiliate offers, and that is a huge mistake. In fact, some affiliate marketers structure their entire niche around Amazon. This isn't only limiting what you can promote, but it's also massively limiting your earning potential. Hey there affiliate schoolers, in this video I'll be breaking down seven alternatives to the Amazon Associates program, with many of them paying upwards of 50% commission rates. And I'll also be using this cookie to help illustrate exactly why you should move away from Amazon. I would like to point out that this video is certainly not intended to hate on Amazon Associates. After all, it's where I started my affiliate journey and it's where most affiliates do start. And there are some really good points to using Amazon Associates. The first of those is that it converts. People know Amazon, so the conversion rates are really, really high. Secondly, it has a really good range of products. So for most niches, you're going to be able to find products that you can promote on Amazon. Thirdly, it's pretty easy to set up. As long as you can generate three sales within the first 90 days, you're pretty much guaranteed to be accepted onto the program. And the fourth reason is that you're going to get regular payments sent to you at the end of each month. But there are some drawbacks to Amazon as well, and they're two pretty big ones. The first is that they only give you a 24-hour cookie. What that means is that when someone clicks on your link, you only have 24 hours to convert them into a customer before that tracking is, is lost. Secondly, and this really is the big one, is that their commission rates are not particularly great. Now, in the UK and certain localities in Europe, the rates are a little bit higher. You can get six to 7% for most products, sometimes as high as 10. However, in the United States, the typical commission rate is around 3%, which, you know, you're gonna have to sell a lot of products to make a lot of money at a 3% commission. And thirdly, I would also add that Amazon don't really have a great amount of care for their affiliates and they have been known to close accounts at the drop of a hat for breaking their terms of service which are almost impossible to completely adhere to so it's certainly worthwhile exploring other options it makes a lot of sense to look for higher paying affiliate programs before you even enter a niche however even experienced affiliate marketers that are within a niche can get stuck in the rut of being on amazon now when i was recording the intro to this video i actually dropped my cookie on the floor and Actually, the, the crumbs probably resemble around 3% commission, which isn't a great amount. Um, so typically, I'm going to be looking for a bigger amount of the cookie. And if that's what I'm giving to the company, then I kind of want that for myself. And that's the analogy that we're going to apply to... The, to finding these affiliate programs. So let's dive in and take a look at seven really good places to look when it comes to finding higher paying affiliate programs. The first alternative that you might consider looking at is software as a service. So for this, you can look at pretty much any software as a service because digital products tend to have much higher commission rates, but things like email marketing, so your convert kits, your Awebers, your MailChimps and places like that. And then even e-commerce platforms such as Shopify are really good places to look when it comes to finding those higher ticket programs. In fact, you can see here, you can earn as much as 20% of a merchant's monthly subscription fee. And what's brilliant about some of these programs is the once you've referred someone, you can earn on a rolling basis, month on month. So it's not just a one-time commission, but a recurring revenue. Next up, we're going to look at the health niche, and in particular, supplements. So think things like fat loss and weight loss. These are really good niches for high paying affiliate programs. And there's two in particular that I'd like to highlight. One is FanFuel and they have a really good range of, of products. And you can see here that, you know, we've got revenue shares of 50% across these products. 
Again, 50% to 40. This one is 60%, so that's a keto supplement. And then we've also got Cell Health, which again is another company that has a range of products that you can promote with up to 60% commission on some of their products. And if we look down here, you can see some of the brands that you can promote through them. And again, with these programs, you can earn recurring commissions on repeat customer orders. And what I love about these types of offers is that they have really well optimized landing pages. So they tend to convert really well, even better than Amazon in many cases. Next on the list is to go direct to the manufacturer. Now, if you're promoting a product, again, one that might be on Amazon, then you can reach out directly to that manufacturer. Now, they may already have an affiliate program in place. And if they do, then quite often they will give you more favorable terms to deal directly with them and through their program. Because when they sell through Amazon, they are going to be paying fees to Amazon that they could just be paying direct to you. Now, it is worth looking to see how well set up their website is and just keep an eye on conversion because if you're only going to be earning two or three percent more but you're only converting at half the amount then you're probably better off sticking with amazon but it's certainly an option worth exploring next up is clickbank and this is not particularly one that i have used a great deal myself but it is one that is worth looking into particularly if you are promoting again digital products because the commission rates can be very very high the one caveat i would put in place here is that some of the programs on clickbank might not seem the most reputable. So do your due diligence on the program and on the product. If you're going to be promoting something, I always like to say, try and provide value to your visitors. So don't just promote something because it's giving you an 80 or 90% commission rate. Actually try and promote a, a viable and, and, and decent product to your visitors. But that being said, you can find some good programs on ClickBank and it's certainly worth exploring. And they have a, a wide range of different types of topics from betting to business, cooking and food, health and fitness. So if we look at this one in public speaking, for example, we can see that the average payment on, on this program here is $38.78 per conversion, which is pretty decent. If we look at this program in meditation, we can see again, there's a range of, of different programs to look at. And like I say, you're going to want to find something that's got a good payout, but is also a decent product. Before we move on to the next one, if you are finding value in this video, please give the video a like as it tells me that you like this type of content and I'll create more of it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, we talk about SEO and affiliate marketing here and you're more than welcome, please consider subscribing. Also, back to this cookie. These aren't called cookies in the UK. If you know what they are called, drop a comment down below and uh, I will reveal it at the end of the video. But if you're brave enough, drop a comment in now before you get to the spoiler. Next up, we have Share a Sale. And this is one of my favorite affiliate networks to look for affiliate offers. And I'm gonna show you how to use their program to really find the best affiliate offers on there. So what I really like about Share a Sale is that they have lots of different types of programs in lots of different niches and it's really easy to find them. So we can search by keyword or we can search by category. So let's say, for example, we wanted to find products in the, or affiliate programs in the home niche. Then we can search via the keyword home. But what I really like about this program is that it gives you the commission rates before you even need to go in and take a closer look. And on top of that, you can also filter by commission rate. So some of these will be on a per sale basis. And you can see this one right at the top here is to do with real estate. And they actually pay out $475 per sale and $25 per lead. So that could be quite profitable. Again, we've got 40% commission rates, 40, 40, 35, and, and so on. Now the next one is going back a little bit to what I was talking about when I was talking about working with manufacturers directly. And this is to actually work with manufacturers who don't already have an affiliate program set up because most companies will be more than happy to work with you on setting up a program from scratch. They will do the legwork if you have an audience. If you have a big audience 
In other words, if you've got traffic coming into your website and you can push that traffic to them, they will want to leverage that and they will want to work with you. It's actually really simple to do. You just need to find the right person in the company to have the conversation with and then get the ball rolling. But this is a really good way to build relationships with that company. And you might also find that they'll offer you uh, unique discount codes that again are going to help with conversion. And some of my best programs have been these types of programs where they've been set up from scratch. If you do have these conversations with manufacturers and they ask you for advice on where to go to set up a program, my advice would be to tell them paid on results. So it's paidonresults.com. I'll put a link in the description below. And the reason for that is they have pretty low barriers to entry and they'll work with smaller companies on setting up those programs. And finally, if you have exhausted all other options, then you can turn to good old Google and literally just Google affiliate programs in the niche that you're looking for. You see, sometimes you will find websites that have put together roundup lists of affiliate programs and also, you will just find the programs directly that you're looking for using this method. So for example, if we're looking for insurance affiliate programs, we can see straight away we've got aviva.co.uk comes up and that's one that we can go in and we can set up directly with themselves. But then we've also got Authority Hacker here who have very handily put together a list of 10 top affiliate programs. The point is they've done the hard work for you here and you can then explore each of these options. So back to the cookie, which in the UK, incidentally, did you guess it? Yes, it is called a biscuit. We wouldn't call these cookies. Cookies to us have chocolate chips in them. So hopefully that gives you plenty of options for finding alternative programs. And after all, you would want to get 30 chances to have a bite of the cookie rather than just one, wouldn't you? And actually some programs give you 60 or 90 chances to get a bite. And if the, the bite is bigger in the first place, then we're always gonna be happy, aren't we? Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Enjoy the outtake and uh, good luck with your affiliate projects. Hmm. Hey there, affiliate schoolers. In this video, I'll be breaking down seven alternatives to the Amazon Associates program and showing you just how you can bag commission rates of 50% or more. I'll also be using this cookie